In this tutorial, we will learn how to model a simple nut. We can use it for mechanical modeling or as a part of your project. So as you can see here, this is the uh, original file we're using here that we will create a similar one to it. Here we have one, two, three, four in internal rims for the nut. And here we, we can see the shape, it's beveled from here and from the bottom as well as well so uh, from the available geometry we have two basic or standard primitives that are suitable to create this uh, knot the cylinder and the tube but actually i will make use of the tube because it's gonna be simpler to model uh, as it's uh, it's ready hold has a hole inside so it will take less time for modeling but of course you can use a cylinder with different or additional steps for model. So let's create a brand new file. Let's go to top view and make sure we activate the snap toggle. Right click the snap toggle to make sure we're snapping to grid points. Okay. So now let's grab a tube and here in the middle let's draw a big tube right click to deselect it now from modify let's change the parameters i will make the outer uh, radius something like 40 the uh, internal radius will be uh, 22 the height will be 15 height segments will be 6 cap segment i will leave it to 1 and sides will be anything divisible by six because we need uh, it to, to have six sides, six external sides. So sides will be 24. 24 is divisible to six. Now we create a uh, something like a guide. So we can move these points here. Uh, so they look like a... Uh, angle or six sides angle so from the shapes i will pick angle and before i start drawing i will make sure sides number is six okay go to the middle and let's draw him just like that now let's change its radius let's make it something like 46 i think it's fine 46 no, let's raise it to be 46.2. Exactly, that's it. Now let's turn off the snap toggle and right click this guide and make it freeze by pressing freeze selection. So we don't accidentally select it. Now we convert this. Uh, shape into editable poly so we start modeling it change selection to vertex and select these two by pressing ctrl from your keyboard use the selection tool to raise them up until they touch the edge do the same with these two down here push them down until they touch the edge select these two use the scale tool and scale them only on the x axis so we won't affect any other uh, coordinate we need To do the same with these two and these two will be pushed up to touch the edge and then scaled on the X axis just like that these two same thing scaled 
Not much, just slightly. Okay, okay. Same. Okay. These two needs first to be pushed down and then scaled only on the X axis like that. Okay, now we modified the outer radius to be six sided angle while we still have the uh, circle inside. Let's change the view to perspective view to make sure everything is fine. As you can see here, everything is really fine. What we need to do now, we need to create the internal rims. So we change selection mode to polygon, select each, each rim on its uh, own by pressing shift, by selecting and then shift, select the rim. Then we need to insert it. We, we agreed that we, we don't press insert, we press or we click the setting box so we can change the parameter. One is too much here, let's make it 0.3 and press OK. Same for this guy, shift, select, insert and as I told you before in previous lesson, 3ds Max saves the uh, most recent last parameters you used in every modifier. So we press OK, same with this guy, insert, finally, insert, and OK. Now we need to reselect the newly inserted, by pressing Ctrl and Shift, the newly inserted circles, so we can make them look like the one in the uh, knot we created before. So that will be uh, done using the bevel tool. So press the settings. And as you can see here, it's messy because we're working on group. We have three options in bevel, group, local normal, and by polygon. In this case, we will work on local normal. So they all, all are even. And we raise the amount to minus one point one five. And it's not 10, of course, we don't need 10. We need it to be three. 10 is too much, actually, and three is too much. Let's make it 2.5. 2.5 and minus 1.15, that's fine. Press OK. And here we got our internal rims. Now I need to modify this space and the similar one in the bottom. I need them to be a little bit lower. So I change my view to front view and I press F3 from my keyboard so I can see through the uh, object. Now I change the mode to vertex mode. I rectangle select the upper control and the lower uh, row of vertices. Then using my a scale tool, I will scale both of them on the y-axis slightly, not much, just like that. Okay, let's get back to perspective view, press F3 again, so we can see uh, everything, and I, I guess it's fine, I like it. Now let's change selection mode to polygon and select this uh, upper surface here by press shift control do the same with that one shift and we need to make it look like the one here in this photo it's it's beveled and higher and smaller so we can do that using two uh, tools first we need to insert it and we can raise the amount let's make it one Press OK, and then we can use bevel 
let's make the value 3.5 and let's make the beveling amount to be minus let's see what minus 2 gives gives us here yeah exactly that's what I need okay I press ok I like that now before we apply the turbo smooth to make it uh, look like natural or the, the one we have in real life the knot we have in real life we need to make these edges a, a bit smoother by using or by selecting double click the outer edge sorry we need to change the edge mode first double click that outer edge control and double click that too do the same control double click control double click now these four rims need to be chamfered not much actually we, we make it two steps with a value of 0.5 press ok now we need to select these six edges and make it uh, chamfered maybe with larger amount so double click control double click keep doing this until you select uh, the, uh, the main six corner edges make sure you didn't select any other thing accidentally and go to chamfer uh, and I actually will make it one step maybe two yeah let's make it two with a large amount let's make it three see what we get here let's make it <coughs> not three no three is too big let's make it 2.5 yeah it's fine it's fine 2.5 and press ok now when we use turbo smooth and of course we need to raise the iteration make it 3 isolin make sure you isolin your display so you can only see the editable poly steps or edges and here in when you select the editable poly we, you need to show and result activate that one so that's it for this knot i guess it's fine but i need to change its height on the z axis scale it up not much just like that i like it i like it it's perfect it's fine for me let's uh, use a material here we have a uh, standard material available on the Arnold um, render let's assign material to selection and that's it for this knot follow with me in the next tutorial